Ashes of Creation is about to change forever. Well, I think it is. And it's all about the next live stream update from Intrepid Studios when it comes to the game. Let's jump in. Let's talk about it. So as I said, the live stream that is coming up has been announced and it's actually going to be coming on Tuesday, the 30th of April. Now I saw on Discord that this was going to be called Midnight Magic and I was a little bit confused what that meant. But now I think it all comes together and they say, our next live stream featuring an Alpha 2 nighttime lighting and wand weapon combo preview will be coming this Tuesday. And whilst it will be pretty interesting to see the wand, I don't think the wand is necessarily going to be completely game changing. What I think is actually going to be huge is the lighting update. Now I'm a little bit sad to see that it's actually going to be at night time. Sort of feel like if you're doing a complete lighting overwork, you'd want to show it in the day and at night. But okay and this follows on from what steven had been talking about i think he actually mentioned it on a live stream at some point but he effectively told us that there is a big lighting update coming and it should be pretty game changing both in terms of performance and visual appearance he said there is still a lot of work to do many polish related things need to be done leading up to the alpha 2 such as the cape physics that's one that really caught me collision then he says lighting will be a huge change and performance of course we are doing all the things and i do believe that lighting will be pretty damn sizable now obviously i don't know exactly what the lighting update is if we have a look at some of the unreal lighting updates that we've seen using lumen they all look pretty damn exceptional i'm assuming it's going to be the lumen technology but not being somebody who's technically minded and not really knowing anything about engines i can't really speak to that but there's no reason to think that they won't try and use something that is already baked in and maybe just be trying to improve it there i believe they actually have somebody who was working on the rockstar lighting team and gta and red dead redemption well they have some pretty nice lighting now the reason i think this is actually pretty damn important is because actually when i show ashes of creation to some people they are not really impressed by the graphics i don't think ashes of creation is an ugly game when we have a look at the gameplay or anything like that but i wouldn't say that it feels properly true next gen if that phrase has any meaning which i don't think it really does it looks decent it looks sort of good enough but it doesn't look amazing and i think the lighting could have a huge impact in the way that this game looks and i don't know if it's going to improve performance or anything like that i'm not really sure about that but i think it would be genuinely positive for ashes of creation's reputation if when they are showcasing their game it looks even better than it did the thing is graphics are going to get more and more dated at some point you have to release with what you have it's very possible that by the time ashes of creation comes out Unreal Engine might be up to version 6 for all we know. Like look at Throne Liberty. That came out on Unreal Engine 4, but Unreal Engine 5 is the new hotness. I'm personally not that concerned about graphics. Of course I want my game to look decent, and as long as your graphics aren't truly dog crap, I'm pretty happy. For me, it's gameplay first and foremost. Graphics are somewhere down the list, but I will say I would struggle to play a game that looks absolutely awful. For some people, they literally don't care. Happy to play any game in RuneScape mode. It's a little bit unusual that Intrepid and Ashes of Creation have to do some of these steps at the time that they do these steps. Most of the games aren't necessarily overly worried about performance or polishing the graphics until right near the end of the development. Generally, I believe, and I'm not a game developer, that generally they work on content and the optimization will come later. However, because of Ashes of Creation's open development, it means that Alpha 2 will be a permanent showcase of the game. A little bit like how Star Citizen is now, Ashes of Creation Alpha 2 will be around for a long time, well in theory pretty much forever, and when people want to see gameplay, they're going to look at Alpha 2. That's what they'll see on YouTube, that's what they'll see on Twitch, that's what people will identify as being Ashes of Creation. So the polish and the lighting and all these kind of updates are super important now when they typically wouldn't be. Now is that going to be a good thing in the long run or a bad thing? Not being a developer, I have absolutely no idea. What I will say though is I'm very interested to see whatever lighting update they give us. Now I do know that in some past videos there was a little bit of controversy about how dark the nighttime should be. Personally, I don't really think nighttime should be a sophisticated mechanism where you literally can't see. What I mean by that is 
I don't want to be inconvenienced by it being dark. Man, I'm playing a game, I just want to have fun. However, I guess if nighttime is properly baked into a system and it's part of, you know, a more deeper understanding of the game, then I could enjoy a nighttime where you can't see. It really depends on the kind of vibe you're going for. Generally, just let me be able to see and I'll be happy enough. It's a little bit weird that they're showing off the lighting update at midnight at the nighttime. I'm not quite sure why you would do that. I'm assuming that the moon will be shining bright and the spells will be really cool. Maybe it will look visually very pleasing. And then maybe they'll get another video or stream out of it at some point. And I'm going to guess that the wand is going to be related to the spell effects. And they're going to be able to do that to like light up the sky and that kind of stuff. Which could be very visually pleasing. I'm very, very interested in whatever it's going to be though. And I'm going to try and live stream it when it's live over on Twitch. So come and follow me over on there. For now, I'll stop rambling. If you want to support me and help the channel, then become and get a Patreon is truly the best way. Otherwise, as I said, come watch me over on Twitch. Currently, I'm playing New World, but that's not always going to be the case. I'm going to be playing Alpha 2 when that comes out. And if you want to join me and maybe join the guild, make sure you sign up to the Discord in the link in the description. God, it sounds so cheesy when I say that. For now, have a most beautiful night. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.